Congresswoman Carolyn Cheeks Kilpatrick ousted in the primary, and we may never know just how much the baggage of her son's mounting legal problems helped drag her campaign down. The 65-year-old Congresswoman didn't say much to supporters after losing her bid to Senator Hanson Clark. We did not win the election. I will be a servant and continue to do that. Um, the, the, there were six candidates in this race. Unfortunately, they made it two, and that's okay. This election is a lot bigger than me and the incumbent. It's about whether taxpayers here in this region can control the money that they contribute to Congress. They both campaigned down to the wire, but Clark beat Cheeks Kilpatrick 47 to 41 percent. And first thing this morning, Clark, still running on fumes, stopped by Action News Studios. I know that the voters were really tired of the political system in Detroit, and that's what's being overthrown right now. It's not just the Kilpatrick family, but in my opinion, for decades, uh, the political culture in the city really hasn't served the taxpayers. Clark says his focus will be on jobs and turning around our regional economy. And I'm going to be reaching out to uh, Department of Labor officials in Washington, D.C., uh, who I met with during the middle of my campaign just last week uh, to see how we can better train uh, Metro Detroiters for existing jobs that are in high demand. In November, Clark will face off with John Haller, a Republican from Gross Point Woods, who ran unopposed. And though Clark is expected to glide to a win, he says he doesn't take any election for granted. However, I really don't have time to be involved with politics right now. People need to get to work. Uh, we need to stabilize home values. We need to reduce the cost of insurance premiums. And we need a better trade policy. And I've got to work on these things immediately. Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News.